So in a nutshell, the stop idea is about the mortality of ideas or where ideas actually come from and how we can shape them into products or services. Now I would like to draw out that iceberg that we will use to deeply understand that this dream idea that is on top of the waterline is not that easy to capture. There is a lot of questions that are hidden below the waterline that need to be solved first. And this actually leads me to the topic of the mortality of ideas. Did you know that 95% of ideas actually never make it to the market? That's a huge number, right? If you want to put it into absolute numbers, it takes about 3,000 ideas to get one successful product on the market. So here is where you need to realize, you as an idea owner, that you are actually already a hero at this point because we are attempting, I'm counting myself into idea owners, into the idea owners group as well, of course, we are already heroes because we are trying to attempt something that has a very high probability of us not reaching our goal. Despite knowing this, we, we are going ahead. And because we know this, we are also able to build in different additional stages, checkpoints, um, brainstormings, feedback loops, and all kinds of tools and additional checkpoints so that we are going through this selection process, through this adaptation process of our idea together to make sure that we are investing everything we have, all our competencies, that we are diving deep into our potential to actually give every idea the best chance we can give it. So what's actually below the waterline here? When we are talking about originality in the stop idea, it's of course about the USP standing for unique selling proposition. How do you stand out in the competition? Looking at your competition, doing a lot of research to understand, is there any space on the market? Do you fit in there? Um, what kind of powers are playing out on the market by those competitors that are there? Maybe there is no competitors. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? We are connecting to the market here, as you just realized, which is our next stop. Don't forget, these stops are a way to help us reduce the complexity and to be able to see where we are at, to orient ourselves kind of on a flat map. There will always be overlaps and topics that are relevant in the stop idea as well as in the stock market. The main focus here is on the idea though. You can't separate the idea from the user, from the person who is benefiting from you solving that challenge. So here's a unbreakable bridge that we have to keep in our minds. And last but not least, the technology. Anything that you need, the resources that you need to build your product and service belongs to the stop idea. These topics are all being discussed in the stop idea. We are talking about the state of art of technology. Maybe we don't need the latest technology to build a product. We are talking about the balance between how much of features or technology you actually need to create a solution for that person who has a challenge that you're actually trying to solve. So you can see that there is a, a big diversity of topics actually. 
that we have to tackle. And to be able to do this, I have created a few workshop 